家好，今天我们学第十二课。我全身都不舒服。课文一 ，Text One。In Text One, we will learn how to talk about one's health and how to express one's desire. From the video, you will learn the main concept. From text one, I'm not going to translate text one sentence by sentences. I just explain some concept from it. Okay, so let's let's see. The first part is a sentence combination. We are going to learn how to combine two sentences into one sentence. So let's. Look this one first. Ni mei tian do liu dian qi chuang. Ni mei tian do qi duan lian. If we want to combine these sentences, then we have to find、uh, which one is the time word. This one liu dian qi chuang because it shows. Um, you get up at six o'clock. 之后 then we do some exercise. Uh, to do some physical exercise. So if you want to come by then, we have to say, 你每天都六点起床去锻炼 because we have to get up first then to do some exercise to do some physical exercise. Does it make sense? Okay, so this is one part. Then the second part is this. You 应该去医院。你应该去看病。Okay, so 去医院 it means location or some place that you should go to. Uh, 去看病 it means to see the doctor. So if you want to combine them together, we have to say 你。应该去医院看病 because we have to. You have to, or you should to, uh, you should go to hospital to see the doctor. Okay. Uh, now let's practice this one. 我喜欢在斯德哥尔摩大学学习 I like to learn or to study. In S U, 我喜欢学习中文 If you want to combine them together, then here, 在斯德哥尔摩大学 is a location or is a place. So we have to say it first. Then put what are you going to do there? Okay. So answer should be 我喜我喜欢在斯德哥尔摩大学学习。中文 ，Okay. Next one, we're going to talk about 应该 should. Okay. 现在晚上十一点，你应该去睡觉。Now it's already eleven p.m. You should go to sleep. 你全身都不舒服，你应该去看病。You, all of your body feel uncomfortable. You should to see the doctor. 学习中文，你应该写汉字。在瑞典，你应该要说瑞典语，要说呃、uh, ，have to. 学生应该交作业，交 hand in。吃饭时不应该说话。Or when you have some meal, you should not talk. So now let's see. 应该 should. So it's it's a function word to help the verb. So, 应该 is always put in front of the verb. 
，应该去。去 is a verb， 应该去，应该去，应该写，应该要说，应该教，不应该说话。说话 is a verb， it means talk or speak。The next one we're going to talk about this one in the in text one it has this phrase it say 去医院看病 it means to do something at some place, okay. Uh, in Chinese we will put the location in front of the verb or the verb phrases, okay. So we have we have those. Examples: 去 it means go to, 到 it means get to, okay, or arrive. So, let's try to see. 去斯德哥尔摩大学学习中文 Go to Stockholm University to learn Chinese or to learn Chinese at SU. 去中国看京剧去体育馆游泳，体育馆 gym。To swim at the gym。到餐厅吃饭。到商场买音乐光盘。到台湾看陈老师。看 ，here it means to visit。Okay, so the structure is 去 or 到 and then we'll put it place. Then we'll just say what I'm going to do at their place. The next part we're going to talk about 还还是 and 还好还 it means still 还是 or 还好 so so. Um. 你怎么还不起床 ？Why do you still not get up? 明天你还不能上课。Tomorrow you still cannot attend the class. 现在去，还是下午去？ Uh, we have to go now or in the afternoon. 昨天的京剧怎么样？还好。How's the Peking Opera yesterday? So so, not very good, but not very bad. 还好。Now the last part we are going to talk about idiom and 有一点。The first one idiom. So we're going to review this one, and in the class we'll do a lot of practice about this part. Idiom we have to put a noun, such as idiom 东西 idiom 寿面 idiom 书 um a little bit something, a little bit birthday noodles, a little bit books or few books. 那 idiom we could put a verb in front of idiom and a noun, such as 我去买一点东西 I will get something. I will going to buy something. 妹妹吃一点寿面 The younger sister have a little bit. A late noodle, birthday noodles. 妈妈早上看一点书，晚上写一点小说。小说 in the Miss Novel. Mom reads a little bit books in the morning, and she writes some. She writes some novel. Um.、Uh, A little bit of novels at night. Um, next one about 有一点有一点 We have to put adjective or verb. 
pay attention here. Uh, when we want to put the adverb adjective here, it should be negation or to describe the, the dissatisfaction, such as 有一点不高兴, 有一点贵, 有一点晚, 有一点发烧, got a fever is a verb here. Okay, such as, um, we could see 不高兴, 贵, 晚, is a little bit a uh, negation. Such, uh, for example, 漂亮, 漂亮, and it means beautiful, is a positive adjective. Um, so we seldom say 有一点漂亮. Okay, but we could say 有一点不漂亮, a, a, a little bit not pretty, okay? So you know, uh, so this is the online video for this week. See you in the class. Bye-bye.